Hey guys, before we jump into today's video, just wanted to let you know that today's video is a sponsored video, sponsored by our good friends over at OkanaganOffRoad.com. OkanaganOffRoad.com started as a Facebook group approximately five years ago and has evolved into much more. Head on over and visit our friends at OkanaganOffRoad.com. Pick up all sorts of merchandise, recovery gear, swag, livery, all kinds of good stuff. We thank these guys for making this video possible and graciously donating what you're going to see later on in this video. Hey guys, Street Stomper here. Me and my oldest here getting ready to head out and get our first mod for the Jeep. Uh, the unfortunate thing is we have to drive uh, almost 300 miles to pick up what we're getting so we're not going to bore you with the trip but uh, we'll touch in when we get there all right so we're all loaded up here heading back as you see and we got a winch and a rock hard winch mounting plate for a factory bumper pretty excited to get these mounted up and try it out Dad, could I drive yet? Shia wants to drive. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're on our way back. It's about uh, another 225 miles um, back home. We just left Vancouver. Continue on our drive here at a socially safe distance. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, so we'll be back at you as soon as we get uh, unsettled back at home or if we find anything exciting. Oh, actually one side note, I did see a 2020 uh, Ford Bronco on a trailer. Unfortunately, my youngster here missed it. We took a swing into a Ford dealership to see if we could see one, but unfortunately they didn't actually have any. So that was kind of disappointing, but that was pretty rad that I actually got to see that on the trailer. I see some car we're gonna crash. I yeah. see like, oh my God, ah, there's when a I Ford yelled, Bronco. When I yelled, I was like, oh my gosh. He thought we were crashing, but I was excited about seeing the Bronco. So yeah, that was pretty fun. <laughs> Alrighty, after many, many hours of uh, driving, we finally got what we came for. We got a rock hard 4x4 winch mounting plate that mounts to the factory JK bumper and a Rugged Ridge Nautic Series 12,500 pound winch. Uh, you may be asking yourself, why did we drive so long to pick these up? Well, it's simple. With everything that's happening right now, as we're all aware of, um, shipping was delayed like substantially. So I decided, you know, it's worth it for me to drive down. And um, I, I've got some exciting news coming up here in a minute. So let me get this winch mounted up and uh, I'll get back at you with this exciting news. Well, that's not what you, you want to happen in, in the middle of a install. <laughs> I guess now I got to go find another ratchet. So <laughs> thanks, Stanley Tools. <laughs> Let's try that again. This time we'll try with Mastercraft. Alrighty, so I'm about 15 minutes into this. So I removed the uh, plastic cover, it covers the frame rails there. Uh, unhooked the fog light lights. Don't forget to do that. They say you don't have to remove the bumper completely, but I'll be honest, I tried to slide it in there without it and figured, you know what? I'm gonna take it right off so I can actually make sure I've get getting everything lined up, although it's only two bolt holes. I don't wanna mess around. And then of course the air dam on the bottom, you gotta remove that. You don't have to remove it right away all the way just take off the uh, front ones and let it hang down and you can get your arm up in there so yeah I'm gonna uh, line this baby up and go from there alrighty so she's all lined up now all we got to do is push it down and then uh, put in our two bolts one on either side and we will be back to putting the bumper on Alrighty, she is in. Now I'm gonna line the bumper up and then uh, line everything up and cinch it down right now. It's just sitting in there. I put the bolts in uh, hand tight so I can make sure everything's lined up correctly. So, Winch plate is on. I've sat the winch on there, it's not bolted down. 
as you can see it's loose um, one thing I did notice I put the front air dam on before bolting the winch not a good idea because what I wasn't thinking is you can't really get all the way under here so you have to go from the underside so but all in all I mean this is only taken 30 what, are, what time are we here 36 minutes it's taken me to uh, to do this so yeah overall I'm thoroughly impressed with that bracket and it actually looks to me I, I really like the look of that and some of you may be asking why I didn't go with a full bumper well this is going to be daily driven for a little while and I didn't want that several hundred pounds of weight and this bracket weighs I don't know I'm just guessing maybe 20 pounds so yeah let's uh, wire this baby up and get at it another thing I forgot to mention it doesn't really call for uh, Loctite in the installation manual it's got uh, lock washers but I'm a big believer in Loctite and a lock washer especially on something that's going to be you know hard to access like you're not going to be able to gain access to those bolts very easily so for a sense of security I'll go with both she's all bolted up got the uh, solenoid pack mounted I opted to uh, mount it directly above the motor it gives you four different positions but I thought that best suited what I wanted um, my theory was it kind of blocked a little bit less of the rad putting it off to the side uh, one thing I will note is uh, hook your bottom wires up before you uh, mount your winch on your plate because that was terrible <laughs> but uh, whew, focus Aside from that, I'm going to wire this thing up right now, which, I mean, if you're installing your own winch, you pretty much know, run negative to negative, positive to positive, um, and there's no need for an external relay. It's all contained inside the box. So, yeah. All wired in. What I did is I fed the wires through here. There's a little hole right beside the power steering reservoir, and I just ran it along the uh, inner fender right up to the battery. So, Let's uh, plug this in, preferably the right way, and we'll give it a shot. Let's see here. Hey, right, there we go. We plugged in. Let's go out. Nice. This is not tensioned. I do have to take it out and tension it, but I'll do that after. Completely done. So all I'm going to do now is uh, tidy up what little bit of a mess I have. And then uh, I'm going to head upstairs and tell you the exciting news. All right, there she is, all cleaned up, tested it out. I got to uh, tension the cable. I'll go and do that after. Take the kids out for a little ride. It's storming right now. but uh, So I got that exciting news in the back of my Jeep here. There we are. You might be asking yourself, Street Stopper, why do you have another winch in the back of your Jeep? You just installed one. Well, here it is. We partnered up with the guys over at OkanaganOffRoad.com, and I'm going to give this away. Um, when we reach 1,000 subscribers, we are going to give this away. So in order to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed, leave a comment on this video, and turn on notifications. And when we hit 1,000 subscribers... Somebody will get this Rugged Ridge Nautic Series winch. It is 12,500 pound capacity. And this is open to all Canadian and U.S. residents. So, yeah, this is exciting times. And I appreciate the guys over at OkanaganOffRoad.com for giving us the opportunity to do this and to grow our channel. So, yeah, let's get at it, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.